Hi, we're going to talk about the Lenape and the tools they used for hunting. And the men did the hunting along with the boys would learn a craft or how to walk around in the forest and hunt. And here we have a deer skin. So that's what they ate, turkey feather, they ate raccoon, turtles. But a really important tool is the arrow. And this here has the arrowhead, the shaft, and the feathers to make it fly straight. And that would be something you would learn. That would be your schooling. And um, making an arrowhead is called flint napping. Uh, these here are arrowheads. This is flint, this is obsidian that's found in New Jersey. And we found these, not me, but we found on Staten Island hundreds of years ago in excavations, they found a lot of arrowheads. So the question is, how do they make arrowheads out of these pieces of stone? And what they would do is find a flint piece or obsidian, it didn't look like this obviously, and they would take a hammer stone and break it, break it, break it, and it would come off in shards or thin pieces. And they would take a, a deer antler and hit it until it got very sharp on the edges. So not only did they make arrows, they made spears with larger, larger stones that were carved put on sticks. We have a tomahawk or a hammer here. It could be sharp, it could be not sharp for hammering things. It has a stick, it has buckskin, or it could have sinew, which is from, this is dogbane that comes from Staten Island. Also, it grows as a plant. It has twine, they can make ropes. And the sinew of an animal's tendon, so it was very sturdy, so they could tie things up. So, if you were a boy, you'd be with your dad and uncles, and grandpa, and neighbors, and you would be looking for this bush, the arrowwood viburnum, because, look at here, nice, straight, branch for your arrows, right? So they would clip them off, put them in, a, in their little pouch, and you know, you had to collect a lot because you would lose a lot of arrows, right? Hmm. Hey, look what I found. And not only did I find the shaft of the arrow, I found a turkey feather. We could put that on the end of the arrow so that it can fly straight. Wow. So the Lenape used the tulip tree. It grows very tall and straight and they would make dugout canoes. And how they would do that, they would use fire to burn it down, knock it down, fire again, and chip out using a tool that had a very sharp stone curve tool and burn it and it would take about a month so a lot of the Lenape could go out on the water and travel and fish